This is one of the seven wonders of the world. Millions of people visit here every year and surprisingly with little to no information on how to actually get here. So many people don't even attempt to come just because the way is shrouded in mystery. Well, imagine if there was one video with all the instructions laid out perfectly. Welcome to that video and welcome, welcome to Machu Picchu. So your first stop from anywhere in the world is going to be the capital of Peru, which is Lima. And there, there is all sorts of stuff to do. We even spent a few days there just because it's so packed with adventures. But Lima is only the beginning. So do yourself a favor and spend some time here, either before or after your trip to Machu Picchu. From there, you're gonna to need to make your way over to Cusco, which is pretty much your hub for all sorts of historical activities. It's another place you're not gonna to wanna to miss. And we made the entire video with all the cool stuff to do there. In just a few minutes, we're gonna do a full 360 and answer the question that everybody has. What's on the other side? I'll show you. They've got a couple options. You can either fly, which takes an hour, or you can take a bus through the mountains it takes 20 hours and 16 minutes. Wow, that's a lot of hours. Now, if it's anything close to our other road trips in Peru, I'm sure it's breathtaking, but your time is so valuable here. So we suggest getting to Cusco sooner than later so you can enjoy more of the city. So we're fast forwarding to Machu Picchu day. And in reality, we strongly recommend a little more time before diving right in. Because of all the travel involved, you're gonna wanna give yourself at least a few days to settle in. And because of the altitude, it's no joke. It's gonna be a tough day because you're gonna to have to somehow wake up before the sunrise. So go ahead and set yourself a few hundred alarms, get to bed early. Now grab a snack, it's time to hit the road. Uber works in Peru and it's very affordable. You could either take an Uber or a taxi, and if you're staying at the Ureta Hotel, the owner there, Victor, has a heart of gold, and he was nice enough to take us directly to the bus station at 4 a.m. and made us snacks. Aww. 4.50, and we are leaving at 5.10, so they tell you to come here 30 minutes earlier. If you don't, you might not be able to board the bus. No, there's a big line of people. Here are your options. You could either take a bimodal service, which is a mix of bus and a train, or you could take a train straight from Cusco to Aguas Calientes. We went with the bimodal option only because the departure time worked a little better for us. Either way, you could see beautiful views if you're not already asleep. You finally make it to Ollantaytambo, and it's amazing. Now, I suppose you can skip exploring this place, but if you wanna make the most of your trip, do yourself a favor and show up a day early. That way you can check out all the cool things here and you could start your Machu Picchu trip a little closer, a little more well rested. Or you could torture yourself like we did and do it all in one run. And when you get there all groggy, you might ask yourself, how do you find the train after you get off the bus? But it's clearly at the bottom of the hill. That's great. So the bimodal service, they take you straight to the train so you don't have to worry mm -hmm. how you're gonna get to the train. And no, it's not a dream. There's an excellent cafe here, so grab yourself a coffee and you're good to go. So on a ticket, you're gonna have which carriage you're gonna take, and then you have letters so you can book your tickets with Perorail or Inca Rail way ahead of time. We chose Perorail, but they're both pretty similar. And while you're waiting on the train, they have a cultural performance to get you in that Machu Picchu spirit. See what a little coffee can do. <laughs> Welcome to the Peru Rail, a scenic trick through the Andes. Wow, that looks amazing. They have other options, but the panoramic version will let you see every inch of the winding river and the skyscraping mountains. You even get another cultural performance. You'll eventually make your way to Machu Picchu Pueblo, AKA Aquas Calientes. Well, now we gotta take a bus from Aquas Calientes too much of each This journey never ends. Never ends. <laughs> Okay, so to make sure we're all on the same page, you're gonna fly into Lima, then take a plane to Cusco. Hop on a bus to Ollantaytambo, where you'll catch a train to Aguas Calientes. You'll then walk a short distance to the bus stop where you'll take a 30 minute ride to Machu Picchu. For an alternate version, you could fly into Lima, take a plane to Cusco, hop on a train straight to Aguas Calientes, skipping Ollantaytambo, then hop on that bus to Machu Picchu. There, it's so simple, and it's all in our free three day itinerary and then there's a lot of tour guides who will be like, hey, do you need a tour? We are official tour guide. Now, to be honest, my scam alert radar was going off like crazy, but when you think about it, a tour guide will show you things that you don't even know to look out for. So we figured, let's give it a shot, and we couldn't have been more happy. Maybe 260 US dollars. For both? No, yes, yes, for both. Okay, for we met Andre, and now he's our awesome guide. <laughs> <laughs> 
Getting a ticket is pretty easy for the bus. There was absolutely no line and it's 9 a.m. You're basically gonna see the sign saying bus ticket. It's a big sign that you're not gonna miss and then you're gonna just come here, get your ticket, show your passport. So make sure you have a passport because you're not gonna go anywhere without your passport. So this small town, Machu Picchu Pueblo, is so cool. You want to spend some time here. So when you're booking your train back to your hotel, remember to leave yourself enough time to explore. But we've got a bus to catch and it leaves now. There was a line a few minutes ago, but now it's gone. That's how fast it goes. We've got a guide and we get to go earlier, but he said it's a secret. <laughs> yeah. If you took a little bit too much on this trip, they have a store. It's right next to the buses and then you are good to go. The bus is about 30 minutes and the view is astonishing. Wow. You finally made it and it's time to see Machu Picchu with your own eyes. You walk up the stairs to the entrance of the gate and of course you can't just walk in. You gotta choose a circuit first. The most popular circuits are one and two. We went with option one because the guide told us the most famous photos come from this circuit. Circuit two will give you photos of the Machu Picchu mountain, but a little bit higher. Whichever of the two should be fine, but circuits three and four have no access to higher terraces. All right, this is it. You've made it all this way. It's time to step inside. Welcome to Machu Picchu. Woo! We haven't even started yet. We just got across the ticket line already. Just draws dropped. So if you're anything like me, you always see this awesome shot of Machu Picchu. And you're like, what's on the other side? I'll show you. Llamas. <laughs> of course it's llamas. Like most things in Peru, llamas are always there to photobomb your shots. These fluffy guys are everywhere, hanging out next to all the ancient structures. And if you're lucky, you might even get to pet one. So a few things you might want to know. Bring some bug repellent. And I mean it, these bugs here don't play. They don't seem intimidating, but about a week later, we were itching like crazy. Now, if you didn't bring mosquito spray, it's okay. They have some right by the bus station. Another good thing to mention is when you start a circuit, you are on that circuit till the end. There's no turning around. You can't go backwards if you miss something. So make sure you take it all in and get the pictures that you can when you're there. Something we did not know. You guys see this window there? Up there, the famous window in Machu Picchu. Only from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. So it's 2 p.m. and there is a super long line. Before you were able to buy tickets only online and now you can buy tickets online or afternoon tickets in Aquas Calientes. So when you're gonna go online, for example, you're gonna see, oh, there's no tickets available. But if you go to Aquas Calientes, there's tickets that they sell for 1 or 2 p.m. It's really hot. I always saw people wearing sweaters. I'm like, it must be cold. I'm hot. Just in this little sweater, I'm so hot. And if by now you're a little hungry, you'll be pleased to know that there's a cafe right next to the entrance exit of Machu Picchu. Anything you order there will taste even more incredible next to that awesome view. And you know the, the best thing about this view? This is you. Congratulations, you now know everything you need to know to get to Machu Picchu on your own. If you're planning things out and these steps just aren't working for you, they do offer group tours from Cusco. Only downside is that you're completely confined to their timetable, but if that's a better fit for you, definitely jump on it. The main thing is that you see this incredible place. And for the more adventurous, you can take a three-day hiking, camping trip through the mountains that follows the ancient trails. It's called the Inca Trail, and we hear it's a ton of fun. Quick reminder, bring your passport. You won't be able to get in without it. You'll need it to buy your bus tickets and to get into Machu Picchu. I also recommend bringing this portable charger for your phone, literally our favorite one. You're gonna take a lot of photos, and at the end of the day, your phone's probably gonna be all out of juice. This one will charge your phone real quick, and you can get multiple charges before it's all drained up. If you want even more details, download our free three-day Cusco itinerary. We have every link, every single piece of information you're gonna need. Well, that's it. Now go grab your tickets, send us your pics, and check out this video for all the coolest things to do while you're visiting Cusco.